on the metal voice nick live on the metal voice uh it's a little early here in north america and canada but i thought i'd check in with our french correspondent uh nicolas Ubre. uh all the way he's at the airport right now so i couldn't get him online nick what's going on nick hello bonjour bonjour ça va bien ce matin ou cet après midi Hey, the connection is not very good. I apologize, but I can hear you. You can hear me? Okay. We're, you're, you're coming in and out. So uh, big news, if you can hear me, uh, Gorgira, the French band, performed at the Olympics in Paris. Uh, it's a big moment in metal history because it's probably the hardest heavy or heaviest metal band that has ever performed. Uh, according to the Olympic stats, um, KISS, performed at the Salt Lake City Winter Olympics, Jimmy Page at the Beijing Olympics, Beijing Olympics in China, Alice Morissette in Vancouver Olympics, uh, Paul McCartney in the London Olympics, Queen at the London Olympics, and Muse at 2012 London Olympics as well. So, I mean, this is the heaviest band. So tell me a little bit about Gojira, Nick. Played a, a song they played, I mean, it's a cover. It's a cover of an iconic of iconic French song from the revolution. Mm -hmm. So it's called Asaira, everything's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. And it's a cover that has been covered by many artists in France, including Edith Piaf. Okay, so it was the big thing. And this is what Joe Duplantis said uh, on the news. He said to put a song about the revolution, flames all over the Seine in Paris and metal. He said it's a perfect combo. So it was a big thing to have heavy metal and I think they chose the right song, a song about the French revolution. All right, so there's a there's a picture of of a, a you know a boat, right? A Viking boat of some sort. Um, let me just put it up for everybody. And there's an opera singer. You want to tell me a bit a little bit about that? I think what would be great is also to speak a bit about where they played. Okay, go they ahead. Played yes, on the Conciergerie, okay. which is a, a wonderful, beautiful building in Paris that used to be a jail. Oh wow. So that makes it even more metal. So they really choose the place, the band, the theme of the song. It's something very unique. And this is what was great about the Olympics. And the you had a lot of different styles being played. But for this one, they really chose the perfect combination and the perfect place to make it happen. Okay. So this is, um, I'm just trying to show some pictures here. Is that like a parliament building today? Is that like a building where... Uh, uh, today it's, it's, mainly, it's mainly a museum, but it used to be a jail back in the days. Okay. And, and again, going back to it, the song that they played is a, uh, we'll call it, I don't know if it, the right word is a folk song, but it's a song from the revolution in 17... And it's a song, it's a very, I would call it just, it's an iconic song from Britain. And uh, many people know the song, and you can ask kids, they will sing it, they don't know what it's all about, but it's something people know, it's in everybody's head. So it's really very famous, and uh, but when you go deeper into the history, and especially when you see how it started during the ceremony yesterday, you saw Marie Antoinette, who used to be our queen back in the beheaded. She got beheaded just shortly after our king Louis XVI for treason. So this is why she's starting, you know, the ceremony starting with her holding her head. She got beheaded, I think, in 1793. Okay. All right. All right. And now opera singer Marina Viotti is, is, I guess, playing the part of Marie Antoinette, right? On the boat, right? Correct? Just so everybody knows, Nick is uh, going to France right now. He's, uh, his, the connection's not the correct. Okay, he's back. There he goes. Okay. Did you hear the question? No. <laughs> uh, I just said uh, opera singer Marina Viotti is playing the part as Marie, Maria Antoinette on the boat in the performance of uh, Gorgira. Um, approximately 300,000 people were watching this live performance. And you told me a billion people watching worldwide? What they said on the French. Yeah, I heard it. So what they said you know, on the news, you were, I mean, around the Seine. So where the ceremony took place, they were around. 300,000 people watching it, but they were expecting to have more people, but for safety reasons, they reduced it a bit. And the TV they said they, um, they say approximately 1 billion people watched the ceremony. So it looks like 1 billion people watched Gojira yesterday in Paris. 
uh, Gojira, you know, they have a few albums out there. They're probably one of the biggest, heaviest metal bands in uh, France today. Uh, they recently received their Grammy nominations uh, for their album Magma, Fortitude, and they've uh, toured alongside the biggest acts like Metallica and Slipknot. So I guess the question is, should a band like Metallica, you know, uh, or, you know, a bigger band, maybe like Iron Maiden, if they ever do that back into the UK, the Olympics, should these guys actually perform? I mean, Gorgera is a pretty heavy band. It's, and I'm sure most of the world uh, is not familiar with them, but they are very popular in the metal world. And I believe that this performance will put him on top in terms of uh, magnitude, in terms of uh, accessibility, maybe to the band in the future. And that's pretty much it. So there you have it. Just wanted to get the take from uh, Nicolas, who's in France, or he's going to France right now, and he watched the Olympics. He's our, he's our French guy, man on the street in France, Paris. So uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. The connection really went bad, so I apologize for that. But there you have it. There's some pictures. I'll send, put some, I'll post some more pictures of this here. But a boom, boom. So there we have it. There's the boat where the, the lady there is portraying the opera singer. Marina Viotti is portraying Marie Antoinette. And I think she has her head or something that she's holding. And there you have uh, Gojira performing. And that's the, the museum today. I guess it used to be a jail, as uh, Nicola mentioned. And there's the cool performance, or the iconic performance. So Gorgira performs at the Olympics.